start with first name, last name, and then first. Hello, my name is Lieutenant Tim Byrne. I'm the public information officer for the Carmel Police Department. I wanted to give you a briefing on an incident we had earlier today. Uh, this morning at approximately 11.25 a.m., we responded to a residence in the 400 block of West Main Street. Uh, the, the call type was a, a potentially suicidal individual. Uh, as our officers were responding, we received more information that shots were being fired from inside the house um, into the uh, out, outside of the house up to the uh, neighborhood. Our officers arrived and be, uh, surrounded the house. We set up a perimeter around the house and began uh, uh, evacuating people in uh, nearby residences. Our SWAT team also responded and uh, set up on the residence and we began to uh, attempt to, we were in the process of attempting to make contact with the individual. Um, during the incident, the individual stepped out of the house um, holding a, what we believe to be a, a uh, high powered rifle and began engaging uh, in, in uh, communications with uh, officers that were in the area. <clears throat> during those, uh, during that incident, um, the individual raised the rifle towards officers, and officers engaged uh, the threat. Uh, the individual was struck um, and was taken to uh, 86th Street St. Vincent Hospital, uh, but did not survive his injuries. Do you have any other questions you would, uh, you would like me to answer? So, um, were the were the SWAT office were the members of the SWAT team or members of Carmel PD who fired at the this individual once they stepped outside of this home? The SWAT officers are Carmel officers, so that they were all Carmel officers that were involved. We believe. Um, do you all know how many times this individual may have been struck or anything? I, I don't have that information at this point. And correct, this person did die at the hospital. Uh, that's my understanding. Yes. Um, do you all have any word or any indication that this person may have had a medical issue since you all say that you were called out here um, and it was suicidal initially or did you all have anyone come out here to maybe try to de-escalate the situation? The information that we got over the over the dispatch was that uh, th that he may be suicidal. Um, everything else is still it's still too early in the investigation to really have those details for you. Uh, but that's what the uh, information we received uh, while the officers were en route, and that came through our dispatch center. Can you speak more to those neighbors who you all began to evacuate from nearby homes? I believe that there is like an apartment building directly across the street and that there is obviously a residential area. Yes, it is a residential area. There's homes um, on the south side of Main Street, and then there are apartments on the north side of Main Street uh, in the area where this incident occurred. How many people were evacuated? I don't have those numbers. Do you know how many people were inside this home where this individual was? He was inside of a home or he or she? Correct? It was inside of a residential uh, house. Yes, that's correct. Um, we believe he was the only person inside the home. But again, it's it's still very early in the investigation where we don't we don't have those details just yet. Can you tell us if the police fired the first shot or this person? Uh, the the individual had fired numerous shots um, after stepping out of the house. From inside the home, uh, he also shot multiple vehicles, uh, one of which was a police vehicle. Um, and this was before stepping out of the house, we believe. Uh, but again, it's still, we're still very early in the investigation. So would you be comfortable with saying that officers were under fire at a period of time when they were out here at this scene? On there was one police vehicle that was struck during the incident by gunfire. While officers were present. That's correct, yes. So yes. when he stepped out, do you know if he fired first? Up after he stepped out, I don't he, have all of those details. I'm sorry. From the, did, so he shot from inside his home. Do you know if it was upstairs, downstairs? I don't have that information. I apologize. At what point in time did you guys decide SWAT was necessary? Um, as soon as the officers arrived and saw that there were uh, shots being fired, the SWAT team was started. And how long did this whole confrontation last? Uh, I don't have that information. It was well over an hour. Were there any officers, um, whether it was Carmel PD or even SWAT as well, since they are Carmel, who were wearing body cameras during this incident? Or were there any dash cam um, videos? Or are you all using any ring doorbell cameras? We're working on all of that. Okay. Um, I don't have information as to um, body cameras being activated. All of our officers wear body cameras. 
uh, but I, I don't have any of the specifics to, to tell you for sure all officers had their their body cameras rolling, but all officers do, uh, they are equipped with those cameras. I have two final questions. Sure. I'm not sure who else may have any. Um, one, just to make sure I have this correct, once you all, you all first got the call of a suicidal subject in the area, once you all got to this area, there was, I'm not sure if there was another call or once you got to the area, that's when you all noticed that there was someone who was firing shots from inside of this home. We received that information from other witnesses in the area okay. prior to the officers arriving and then once they arrived, they also saw the same. Okay, and then in the, in the midst of that, there was a cruiser that was struck can you confirm if there were other homes of neighbors who were struck in the area we did hear that? I, I don't know neighbors? that. I don't know that definitively. That's something that will be part of the investigation for and sure. And lastly, um, procedures for the officers who were obviously mm -hmm. involved in this who may have fired rounds. Yeah, any officer that may have fired rounds during the incident will be on administrative leave. They'll be placed on administrative leave as policy. Um, and then uh, they will stay on administrative leave until the investigation is completed. And how many officers would that be? I don't have that information. Um, I'll think you have Did you say, is there any prior history with this individual? I don't have that information. I apologize. For the people at home who might be a little confused, what sort of situation does it require before SWAT gets involved? Um, any type of a, an active shooting type of situation, uh, an active threat, um, barricaded subjects. Um, anything that would be a high risk or high danger type of call is when we would normally deploy our SWAT team. How would you exactly define this? Well, this this was a uh, definitely a, a dangerous situation, um, and shots were being fired from the home. Would you call it an active shooter situation? Um, there's there's a lot of different definitions on what people would call an active shooter. I would call it an active threat. Did you believe the suspect was aiming at? Person I don't have that information at this at this point. I, I, I can't say if anyone was being specifically targeted or if they were just um, random shots being fired from the home. I, I unfortunately don't have that information. And again, that's something that we will try to determine through our uh, through the investigation. Can you tell me, sorry, real quick, no, the age of this? Do you know the age uh, above or below? Yes, uh, he was a 60 year old male. 60 year old yes. male. His name is Keith Scales. Can you spell that for us? I, I believe it's K-E-I-T-H-S-C-A-L-E-S. Mm -hmm. And you said 60. 60, 6-0, yes. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other information that you would be able to add, but even if you're able to, I know at one point you all told neighbors to stay inside of their homes. I know that there was not an ongoing threat, but as you all continue to investigate in this area, um, what can you tell them right now at this time? I know many of them may be watching mm -hmm. this live feed and they are just now learning what unfolded in the sure. area. Um, if you can give them any assurance that everything is okay at this uh, time. We believe that there is no longer an active threat in the area um, and the area is safe. Have you all been able to look, I know it's very early and forgive us for any of these questions that may be premature, sure. but no have you all been able to look into the background of this, this Keith Scales or see anything that has kind of given you all any red flags about who this person As is? As of right now, no, but that will be part of our investigation for sure. Did he live with his family in that house? I don't have that de those details. Was that his home? I don't have that information either. Unusual for Carmel? It happens, yes. It happens everywhere. Um, you said that this guy was, this was a potential suicide uh, situation. Do you, do you believe that there's a possibility this was a suicide by cop? I, it's hard to say at this point. That's something that we'll have to try and uh, figure out through our investigation. And obviously this investigation will determine, um, and you all will learn later on, if this individual died from a gunshot wound. Correct? Yes, we will. Did you have any communication with the, the shooter before he stepped out of the house? Uh, I don't have any of that information at this point in time as okay. far as what, if any, communications we had been able to establish with him. Is that something that SWAT would have tried to do? With Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Why, uh, at some point, there was communication from the Carmel Police that the area was safe, or there was no threat to the public. Mm -hmm. So, but that was, and I don't know the sequence of events, was that after he was injured? That was after we had taken him into custody, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I, I see. Okay. Yes. Darius said this was unusual for Carmel, so to have to roll out the SWAT team for an active shooter almost. Uh, what is what is that like for you guys as police here in Carmel? Well, it's a dangerous situation, uh, but we train uh, very vigorously. 
um, and active threats, um, firearms. We, we do a lot of training. Um, so when the time comes, you know, we're not insulated from this. Um, you know, every, something like this can happen anywhere. Um, and we take great pride in uh, being prepared for these types of incidents. We train very hard um, in order to address these safely and to keep our citizens safe. What goes through your mind during situations like this? Uh, it's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of things. It's very stressful. Lastly, um, I'm not sure if you may have said this. Forgive me if I missed it. You did say high power, um, high powered rifle. Yes, we um, believe it is a high powered exactly rifle. What kind at this we time. don't have that information at this time. Okay. Can you tell us the rate for these? Um, I don't have that. All I have is a name and, a, and that he was 60 years old. I don't have the race. Is his resident in Carmel? Oh, I think someone asked if this helps. Do you know if he was a Carmel, Carmel resident? Yes, we believe he is a Carmel resident, yes. Have you spoken to any of his family members? Uh, the family members are, are aware of, of the situation and that he has passed, yes. Are they residents of Carmel as well? I don't know. And no one else injured at all except for the person, except for the suspect who is peacefully. We don't believe correct. so, correct, yes. Right. To be specific about uh, the high-powered rifle, what uh, what sort of calibers would classify as high-powered? Oh, there's there's a lot. Uh, it could be anything that's not a handgun uh, or a shotgun or a, like a 22. So it could be uh, any type of uh, high-powered, either hunting or uh, semi-automatic style rifle. Question. I think that's oh, I have a quick oh, question. Go ahead. Sure. Do we expect, do we know um, if uh, the uh, coroner's office who's releasing more information about cause of death? Um, the coroner will, will release cause of death. Um, we will have uh, further news releases that we will put out. Today? At, um, probably not anymore today, but as more information on the case develops, mm -hmm. um, we will uh, put releases out as, as that information becomes available. And do you know if the coroner will release information today as well? I don't know. I can't say for sure. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Thank Anything you else? Is that follow up? Are you reachable by spell? phone? Um, email. I can give you one of my business cards. Okay. okay. Can you just say and spell your name and then give us your title one last time just so we have it correct? Yes. For air. Tim Byrne, T I M B Y R N E. I'm a lieutenant, Carmel Police Department, Public Information Office. One more question. Sure. Um, so, I, I, as you know, 2020 has, was a big year in terms of um, police and uh, shootings that involve police. Uh -huh. um, there's been lots of conversations by the community about what needs to change. There's a lot of activism around this. Mm -hmm. Do you see this as a part of that conversation? I'm not sure I follow what you're what you're asking. Do you see um, what happened today as a part of the national dialogue about? you know, de-escalation, as someone mentioned, mm -hmm. and how police should handle themselves and when they should, um, you know, fire, mm -hmm. their use their firearms? Well, I, I think it's it's probably too early for me to, to comment on that because I don't know the details of this case. Mm -hmm. um, so generally speaking, um, you know, officers, at least our officers are trained to attempt to de-escalate if it's, if it's a viable option. Um, but regarding this case specifically, it's, it's just way too early in the investigation for, for us to know exactly how things happened and whether or not that was a, that there was a, a potential for the officers to even uh, de-escalate or if they attempted to do so. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. All right. Yes.